I am very disappointed with the outcome on this $7 billion that has gone out and basically is gone. I want to say that from the very beginning I felt this was going to be the case because of the state that Chrysler was in. Right. Now let me ask you this. A lot of people wondering today, Senator, if Chrysler was going to go through bankruptcy anyway, why did we give bailout cash to begin with? Well, I think, uh, you know, what's really happened, and again, I, I said this very clearly during the hearings, that uh, the issue was trying to find somebody for Chrysler to partner with. The Chrysler, there was no way, I think everyone knew this, everyone in the industry knew there was no way for Chrysler to make it by itself. So what the U.S. government and what our taxpayers have done is basically we've kept them alive long enough for someone to come along and take them off our hands. And so, look, I, you know, I'm very disappointed, but that's these are the facts and our seven billion dollars no doubt is gone plus the billion and a half that we gave to Chrysler Financial. What about the 15, uh, the 15 million to General Motors? I mean June 1st they got to come up with a solvency plan. If they have to go to bankruptcy yeah. we lost that money too. Well you know in, in the GM situation we're gonna end up per the offers that have been made with 50% equity in the company, the UAW with 39%, by the time you add the fractions, it's about a 90% ownership between the federal government and the UAW. I, I, I think it is very unlikely that the taxpayers recruit uh, all of their money, so I, I think that's the case. This is a very different scenario than will probably happen with the financial institutions. I, I know y'all were talking about that earlier. The, pro the fact is that with the financial institutions, we most likely will get most of our money back. But in these auto deals, which was something this TARP money was never to be used for, that was not part of the original proposal, uh, there, there's going to be great taxpayer risk. And the fact is that we will not recover all of our monies, so there's no question. Real quickly, why is that? I mean, were the, were the auto companies just that much worse off than the banks? Oh, oh there's no question. I mean, uh, there, there, it was like apples and oranges. We weren't even, look, Chrysler, Chrysler wasn't even a real company. I mean, they had not invested in technology. They had not, they were almost like a, a, a they had partnerships throughout the country and other places. They weren't even doing everything in-house. I mean, this was a company that uh, really was just on life support. GM has huge, had huge amounts of obligations. Uh, uh, there's no question that with all the money we're putting in, they're going to end up with almost the same amount of debt that they began with. And there's no question that over time, uh, much of our debt will have to be forgiven. So it's a, it's a sad situation. I mean, let's face it, the U.S. auto industry is actually based here in Washington now. Uh, right. Meetings are taking place today between uh, GM, gotcha. the UAW, and the administration yep. uh, to decide the future of the company. I know, that's a whole separate issue. All right, Senator Bob Corker from Tennessee, thanks for your thoughts this morning. Thank you.